Hey YouTube, I just installed a keyless entry system. I still have to uh, clean up the wiring and put the panels all back together. Uh, but this is what I installed. It's a Viper 211 HV. I don't need security system or anything. I mean, it's a 23-year-old truck. Uh, but I'm just going to kind of show how I wired this up. Uh, first of all, for your own vehicle, if you're going to do this, you need to go online and find a wiring diagram. I've got my laptop out here. Uh, and that'll tell you the different colors of wire and what they are. And for this particular one, I was looking for the door lock and door unlock wires. Now, if I, I don't remember exactly what was hooked up where, so let me pull up that information. Alright, so first of all, if you look here, I had to, to access the wiring, I had to, whoops, I had to pull out the uh, front left speaker. And that just, there's a grate that covers it that you just have to pop out. There are a few tabs that you pop out. And then this is held in with four bolts. I don't remember what size they are. And so I just pulled that out and set it off to the side. I need a new speaker, by the way. That thing is a piece of garbage. So anyway, if you look in here, this is the wiring for the power locks and for my power windows. Uh, it really helps to have a schematic of your vehicle here uh, when you're doing this. I have one of the Haynes manuals, and that those always have schematics in the back. That's a big help. Now the wire I was looking for, if I recall correctly, this is the lock wire. This is the light blue. So I'll pull this through a little bit here. This light blue wire here. The light blue wire used to be connected straight through. But what I had to do is I had to cut it in half. And I had to splice my wires in there. So in the case of this, the white and black wire, which is right here, this is the white and black wire from the keyless entry system. That connects to the side of the blue wire that comes from the driver's side door. And that side of the blue wire will also be hot when the lock button is pushed. And then the green wire goes to the other side, and that's what heads off to your passenger door. And then, if I can dig that out of here, in my case, it was a black and white wire that originally ran through here for the unlock circuit. And um, the brown and black wire goes to the other end, and there it is. It's hard to fish out of here. But there's a brown and black wire from the Viper that goes to the, again, the, this end of the black and white wire of my truck will be hot when I push the unlock button, because this is the unlock circuit. So the red and black from the Viper goes to that. And then this, what was this, blue and black? Yeah. This is the blue and black. This is again the unlock circuit. This goes to the passenger side of that wire. And then finally, I had to splice onto the orange wire, which is always hot, so don't cut that in half. Don't cut the orange wire in half, just splice onto it. I had to splice the black and purple wire onto there. So that way that gives me current all the time to this. And if I move down here, it's going to be kind of hard to see. The black wire, you just need a good ground, so I attached it to a bolt on my steering column. And then this is your positive. This goes right into, I just tap this into uh, one of my switches because it has a hot positive always on. This one I still need to hook up. This is yellow, this goes to an ignition switched circuit. Uh, this is so when you turn on the ignition it'll lock automatically and stuff like that. Uh, for just basic lock and unlock, though, you don't need that. But I'll, I'll hook that up later, uh, but it's getting kind of laid out, so I won't do that right now. Oh, and also, I almost forgot, uh, this white wire, this is to flash your parking lights. Again, a, a schematic and a list of wire, co wire code colors comes in real handy here. I had to take this black 
trim panel off and I was looking for my parking light wire in my case on my truck it's brown and it goes right to the switch on the other side so again I had to take this white wire which is my parking light output from the keyless entry module and I had to splice it in I had to run it up through here and I had to splice it into the brown wire here so now oh I missed something too uh, if I can find it here it is and then this I don't know, they call it red, but I think it looks more brownish, tannish. Uh, this is your horn output. This, in my case again, the schematic and wiring information helps. In my case, the horn is negative. The wire is negative from the horn right there. And so you need a negative pulse to set off the horn. So I splice that onto the horn wire right in there. A horn on this for some reason, though I think it's how it's programmed, I need to experiment with it a little bit. The horn doesn't go off when I lock it, but when I hit the panic button it goes off. So there's the remote, and I will lock it. And then if I unlock it, and then panic. So it all works. So that's how I wired it up. And there isn't much more to show. Uh, if I do get that yellow wire, if I ever do connect that yellow wire, I'll post an update on how the uh, ignition controlled locks work. Uh, but it, that's not important to me. It's a 23 year old truck. I'm just happy to have remotes, remote locking. So that's it. I'm gonna put everything back together and double check that it all works and then I'll be done.